Yeah, I can't wait to bring that into Lightroom and just bring that clarity up. Yo, what's good everybody? Jeremy Hills here and I'm back for another video. If you're new here, I make videos about camera gear, videography tips, and some fun vlogs and challenges. So if that sounds good to you guys, stick around and subscribe so you won't miss the newest video. But all right, let's get into this. What's good, Jeremy Hills, and I'm back for another video. Today, we're just gonna be doing some, you know, camera hacks, and I can't wait to do this for you guys. It's gonna be pretty sick. Okay, yes, that trick was inspired by Peter McKinnon, but all right, let's go. All right, guys, so the first shot we're gonna do is the red and blue shot. So we're gonna make that and then make it look cooler. So we're gonna be using the Canon 90D with the Sigma 18 to 35. This curtain, we're gonna try to use that as like the black backdrop to kind of try to isolate her. Now, see, that's what we've got. So she's the only light. All right, so that's how that photo turned out. And I'm just saying, guys, like, we're not being, like, all professional about this. We're just finding some random camera hacks or just cool ways to take some photos and just trying them. That's what this video is about, just creating, you know, just getting into it, doing something different, trying things, you know, we're just at the house, we're bored, and we like photography. So, you know, that's what you guys need to do if you guys are into this whole thing. Just go try something. All right, so for this next one, it doesn't really involve people necessarily. It's just more one of those like product shot type of deals. You want a small product to be isolated in a background, like a watch, for example, okay? This, you know, $1,300 watch that I have minus the two zeros. Uh, yeah, we're gonna take a picture of that. Use a piece of paper. We're gonna prop it up against this monitor stand. We're gonna take some tape, stick it there. Good enough, like this doesn't have to be precise. All right, so we got the watch and we're just gonna put that like this, just something simple. It doesn't look good because there's no light. Turn it on and then we'll point it pretty close. Give it a bit of a top down because top down angles give that like dramatic type and it kind of got rid of most of the shadows in there. And for this, we're using the macro lens. So now we're going to take that product shot. All right, so you know, it turned out like that. It has the white background and it's pretty basic. I know the watch isn't in the greatest it was a lens cap. I know the watch is not in like the greatest pose. It's just an example. All right, on to the next one. Now we're doing the box hack. So she's just gonna stab this thing, get some holes in it. I'm sorry about the super grainy footage, but anyways, now we're gonna take this photo here. She's got holes in the box. Let's see how this turns out. Hang on, let's try from a different angle. And for the next one, we're just blocking out everything except for her and I guess, you know, whatever else turns up in the background, but the whole room's blacked out. I'm gonna try to get a photo of her in the mirror here. Very dramatic and contrasty shot right there. Okay, yeah, that one turned out really good. I'm happy with that. All right, everybody, and the next hack that we're gonna do is the strawberry dropping in water hack. I've never done one of these. And I don't know why I called it a hack. It's not a hack at all. It's just a photo, but that's the next one we're gonna do. We're gonna have a glass cup and we're gonna drop a strawberry in and try to capture it at the right time. And it should give like a splash particle effect and it should be pretty dope. So let's go. All right guys, so we got the little light set up and everything. We got the whole strawberry. Looks really good. She wants to eat it, but we'll get you another one later. All right, so let's see here. Let's frame up this shot nice and good. In three, two, one, go. Yes, we got it. We got it! We got it! <laughs> okay, now it's time to clean up this mess. Oh no. Look what happened. Okay, it's it's actually not horrible, but still, that was worth it either way. That was a cool photo. Yeah, I can't wait to bring that in the Lightroom and just bring that clarity up. <laughs> All right, and the next one is reflection shots. So she actually has the perfect, like, screen protector for this because it's literally a reflector screen protector. Whoa, it's, that rhymes? Oh, I'm a rapper. No, Anyways. No, it's literally a mirror, like an on-the-go on mirror. A reflector screen protector. And that's how that one turned out. I like it. That turned out pretty dope as well. Here you go. Oh, yeah. I like that. I like that blue little light on the side adds that dimension, it looks pretty dope. Anyways, guys, what's going on? <laughs> That's it for the hacks. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> I have no clue how I'm vlogging and she's just monkeying on me. I am confusion. 
And that's it for this video. Don't forget to come back every Sunday and Wednesday for another one. And hey, if you made it this far, I appreciate you so much. If you did like the vid, let me know and smash that like button. Hit that subscribe button and ring that note of bell while you're at it. And remember, it's all about the passion. I can't wait to see all of you in the next one. But until then, peace. Oh, dude, I love making these videos. Mm-hmm.